In this video, we'll introduce the operating cycle and the cash cycle, which are a couple of measures of short-term financial performance. So on to the definitions. The operating cycle is the amount of time between purchasing inventory and receiving cash from the sale of that inventory. The cash cycle is the length of time between paying for inventory and receiving cash from the sale of that inventory. So the distinction lies in trade credit. On the one hand, you've got from when I acquire my inventory on trade credit, how long will it be before I receive cash from having sold it? Whereas with the cash cycle, you're saying from the moment that I have paid out cash for my inventory, how long will it be before the cash is coming back in? Now we can break these down into their components. So the operating cycle consists of the inventory period and the accounts receivable period. The inventory period is the amount of time that you are holding inventory. So once I've purchased inventory, how long will it take for me to sell the inventory? The accounts receivable period is the amount of time between making a sale on credit and actually receiving the cash from that sale. So if you take how long it takes you to make a sale and then how long it takes for you to get cash from the sale, that tells you how long it'll be between getting inventory and getting money. The accounts payable period is the amount of time between purchasing your inventory on credit and actually paying for it. So Having a look on the timeline here, our inventory period is here between buying inventory and selling it. And our accounts receivable period is here between selling the inventory and receiving cash. Our accounts payable period is then between paying, uh, not paying, between receiving the inventory when you buy it and actually paying for the inventory by paying back your accounts payable. So this part here is our accounts payable period. And so you can see that the difference here is our cash cycle. This is how long we're going to be um, without cash, so to speak. Not without cash, but from when we pay out cash, how long will it be before cash comes back in? Now, how do we calculate these cycles? In order to calculate them, we need to use turnover. So turnover is a very general term. It's how many times in a year or maybe in an, even in another period, does something get sold or paid or whatever? So we'll look at each individual one in turn. We have inventory turnover first up, which is the number of times a year that the average inventory is sold. So what I mean by the average inventory is just the amount of inventory that is typically held at any one time so to get the number of times that we sell that amount over the year, we take our costs of goods sold because that will tell us um, how much we have spent on inventory that has been successfully sold. And then we just divide that by the average inventory. So you can imagine if the average inventory that is held at any one time was say $300,000 and the cost of goods sold on the income statement was 900000 You can see from that that over the year we sold the average inventory three times over. So our inventory turnover is three. In order to get our inventory period from our inventory turnover, we quite simply say, okay, well, if we 
sold the average inventory three times over over the year, then on average it took us one third of a year to sell the average inventory. So we take the number of days in a year, which is 365, and we divide this by the inventory turnover, and that will tell you the number of days that it takes on average to sell the average inventory. So that will be what we take as our measure of the inventory period. We can then apply similar logic with accounts receivable. So the accounts receivable turnover is the number of times a year that we actually recover the average amount of accounts receivable. So in order to get the accounts receivable turnover, we actually take total credit sales over the year. The total credit sales is the full amount of accounts receivable that was accumulated over the year. And then we divide this by the average accounts receivable. And then to get the period, it's the exact same logic. Take the number of days in a year and divide it by the turnover. And you will get, on average, how many times, uh, how many days did it take to recover the average accounts receivable? Accounts payable. In this case, uh, so we want the number of times a year that we paid back the average accounts payable. So we actually take the cost of goods sold once again. Because the cost of goods sold will tell us, in total, how much money did we take out on trade credit. This is making an assumption, of course, that we at no point um, just paid straight up cash. If we had, then I guess we would have to add that in as well. But assuming that all purchases were made on trade credit, which is a pretty reasonable assumption to make, you just take the cost of goods sold and divide it by the average accounts payable. And here it's the same thing again, 365 over the accounts payable turnover will give you the accounts payable period. So let's finish this up with an example. So say that we've got all the following information and we want to calculate both of the cycles. We need three things. We need the inventory period and we need the accounts receivable period, which adding up will give us the operating cycle. And then we need the accounts payable period, which we can subtract in order to get our cash cycle. So first up, inventory turnover, we'll calculate first. is equal to 87,600 costs of goods sold. Divide that by the average inventory. Now, we take the inventory at the start of the period and the end of the period, and we take the average between those two. So add those two together and divide by two. In this case, you'd get 12,000. This gives us an inventory turnover of 7.3. So to get our inventory period, we divide 365 by our turnover of 7.3, and we get 50 days. In order to get our accounts receivable turnover, we want to take our total credit sales, which was 191,625. So AR turnover equals 191,625 divided by 
the average accounts receivable, if you take the average of those two, it comes out to 10,500. And so this becomes 18.25. And in order to get our accounts receivable period, we therefore say 365 over 18.25 comes out to be 20 days. So we know now the operating cycle is the inventory period of 50 days plus the account receivable period of 20 days, so it's 70 days. 70 days from purchasing our inventory to receiving cash from sales. To get our cash cycle, we need to get our accounts payable turnover. So this was the cost of goods sold, we saw was 87,600, divided by the average accounts payable. So this was the average between these two is 9,600. This is equal to 9.125 and if we go for our accounts payable period then 365 over 9.125 is 40 days so the cash cycle is the operating cycle of 70 days minus the accounts payable period of 40 days which will give us 30 so on average after we have paid out cash for our inventory it'll be another 30 days before cash comes back in Cut study time with concise video summaries by top students. Visit SpoonFeedMe.com to view more free videos in this course and hundreds of others.